Backlash to the backlash. And we all mm -hmm. talked about this mm -hmm. ad earlier in the week when it first came out. But now the controversy is growing. While some appreciate Gillette's message against so-called toxic masculinity, others believe the ad is putting all men under attack. And so now they're striking back. This morning, some men are dumping their Gillette products in the trash, posting photos and videos online with the hashtag Boycott Gillette. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. They're up in arms as backlash grows over Gillette's controversial new ad, turning the company's popular tagline on its head. This is the best a man can get. And framing it in the context of the Me Too movement. Allegations regarding sexual assault and sexual harassment. Many customers took to social media praising the ad for its progressiveness. But now, some say the ad represents a backlash against traditional masculinity. This is getting a lot of talk. The commercial making waves on cable news. So let's point out all the bad things that you, that you might say about men, put them into an ad, make men feel horrible, and then say, pay overpay for a, a razor. Many conservatives, women among them, saying the ad went too far. I think there's this sort of like backlash against being traditionally masculine as well. And I just want men to obviously not sexually harass anyone, not mm -hmm. make any woman feel offensive, mm -hmm. not do anything illegal. All those things they're doing in that ad are great. In a statement, Gillette tells us the ad started a discussion as intended. If we get people to pause, reflect, and to challenge themselves and others to ensure that their actions reflect who they really are, then this campaign will be a success. Still, polarizing ads like Gillette's are bound to turn heads. Whenever you take a stand, you always risk losing a few people. And if nothing else, they're going to be buzzed about, they're going to be talked about. This is going to get a lot of attention, and that's always good for a brand. Believe in something, even if it means sacrificing everything. Nike sales grew after its controversial commercial with former NFL quarterback Colin Kaepernick. But Gillette sales impact is still up in the air. We believe in the best in men. Even if some customers no longer believe in Gillette. There has been blowback from women as well, who claim that Gillette has a pink tax, meaning women's products cost more than men. So in other words, when it comes to razors, shaving creams, even body wash, items that are explicitly marketed towards women usually cost slightly more for virtually exactly the same product. In fact, one study found back in 2015 that on average, personal products for women yeah. cost about 13% more. So a lot of women are saying, look, if you want to treat us equally, then you should charge us equally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like don't humor us with this nice yeah. commercial or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah I get right. it. Social responsibility marketing can be tricky, though. Mm -hmm. You know, there are some folks who've also suggested that Gillette might be just the latest company that's trying to capitalize on a worthwhile movement. But. And it can take this unpredictable bounce, which is oh, what yeah. I think yeah. we yeah. all saw here. This well, right. it makes more sense if you have a company that's not well known and just trying right. to get on yes. the map one way right. or the other. Right. But Gillette is yeah. so, so well established. known. Sure. They yeah. may be waiting for like weekend sales numbers. They may want to <laughs> see how this all plays out. Yeah. In some right. worlds, all press is good press. Right. We'll, we'll be, be on it. Yeah. Morgan, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.